Well, we're here at ERS, the world's largest respiratory congress in the, annually, with over 22,000 people coming together, uh, wanting to know the latest about respiratory. And behind me you see our exhibition, a 288 square meter booth, where we are discussing on a daily basis with many, many of those customers about the latest what we believe about respiratory. And um, we will talk to thousands of people, I'm sure, and the team is dedicated to, uh, to make sure that they know exactly what TEV has to offer to their patients. Here I think the best thing is really moving this, the e-connectivity has been good and also the information, the, the resources for patients and sharing those with GPs. Well, TEV has just been a, a good place to be. The best thing that we've got on our stand at the moment uh, is the lion. Why the lion? You know, we've got a lion there which actually says, are we getting it right? Is patients getting the inhaler techniques right? And that's where the, the issues, some of the issues are. Um, I think the connective respiratory area I think is very nice and engaging, where the conversations are, are a bit longer. Um, an activity like the straw I think is also uh, has dragged uh, a lot of attention from people like, what do these two massive straws mean? What do you want to say with it? And uh, can we also blow into it and see how, how competitive and how good my, uh, my expiratory uh, flow is? I can see there's a lot of interest in the area where I'm working um, for how respiratory care is going to change in the next few years and how technology is going to play a big part in that. So helping the patient and the doctor work together, which is something that maybe people haven't thought about before. We had the uh, TIFA symposium last night on uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday night. Uh, it, I think it was great. Uh, we had an important topic, inhaler uh, usage, good speakers. So I liked it a lot. Well, I think that there is one area that is developing, which is improving inhalers and providing monitoring of when people use their inhalers and feedback about whether they've used the inhaler correctly. I think what's interesting and what I've seen from the Teva approach is they're not making the assumption that the tech alone will solve the issue. You know, we've got to understand the human factors around the engagement with the technology. And it's clear to me that Teva are at the forefront of connecting health, connecting together patients and healthcare professionals. Already they have some very good devices which are helping us to look at compliance and we know that in the pipeline there's many more to come. Uh, we had over 1,000 people here. The lecture that we gave was just packed. There was not a single seat uh, free. So we can be very happy about uh, the attraction that we created here. And I think it's very important for us to show our flag here at the ERS because this is the meeting where the whole world comes in respiratory to see what's new and who is engaged. And our presence gets bigger and more important from year to year. So I'm very pleased that we showed here uh, the best of Tava to everybody.